No Offence But, where we discuss the uncomfortable topics, drop the truth bombs and have the raw and real conversations. This podcast is sponsored by Wear Deadstock, selling hand-picked vintage, new and deadstock clothing items. We're also sponsored by Pleasure Gap, who are an online sex toy business on a mission to close the orgasm gap. Pleasure Gap bring you a curated range of the finest sex toys from across the planet to help you level up your self-pleasure game. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with our weekly episodes. Right, guys, I can't even be bothered to get into a chit chat because my heart is pulsing. So is my nun at this rate with all the excitement on the table. We have got Michaela from Pleasure Gap. Hi, girl. Thank um, you for me. Who's actually one of our sponsors. And of course, I was just like, this is the perfect collaboration going Absolutely on. And we have collab. to have to bring her in. And with all of the toys, honestly, like what you can see, if you're watching on video, there's a lot and I'm here for it, but there's a box load of more. So we had to try and edit it down, but it was tough. But I'm just so excited. So excited. So Michaela, you've got a new business, Pleasure Gap. Yes. Just tell us a little bit about that first. So Pleasure Gap, we launched in August last year. So it's an online sex toy store and we search high and low try and test everything to bring you guys like the best products. So we like to bring the products with a healthy dose of education on the side because we really think that knowledge is power, but Mm. we are on a mission to close the pleasure gap because we're just tired of male pleasure being more important than female pleasure. So I think we just deserve all of the orgasms we can get. Reach. (laughs) Reach, girl. And one thing I will say is I'm so impressed with the quality. Like even before Queen and I started touching, you said like it looks really expensive. It looks Aww, expensive. Thank you. It so looks kind. posh, inviting. Yes. Some, like, I feel like back in the day, or even now, more like dildos just looked like yeah. hideous, hard plastic. Yeah, and they're all know? like just. I know there's like a few kind of phallic dildos on there, but they were all so like big yes. cocks. Yeah, and it's just yeah. not necessarily people want and that like hard plasticky feel. And I think like some of the you can still just get <laughs> that stuff now but I think like yeah <laughs> I mean do we still we gotta have some representation right but like yeah the materials are all like body safe and you know the best quality silicon so they will last so you for ages because we were just talking off air actually and saying like I've got one similar to that that I brought from another provider who mm. shall not be named um and it's so hard and uncomfortable and like it's got little veins on it and when that comes out and I see it coming I'm like no yeah I think like people can also find that intimidating like other partners if they're a bit like realistic yeah. I feel like it does remove a sense of it kind of brings the fun and it's not as it doesn't feel let's yeah. talk about this because yeah. I have experienced and I think a lot of people have partners where they're just a little bit like yeah intimidated intimidated yeah, is the right definitely. word yeah. yeah I think they think that it's like a replacement and they can see it as a bit of a direct attack I yeah. suppose which absolutely they don't need to do I'm always like toys are your friends yeah. like it's all about like keeping it spicy, mixing things up. So it's nice to like add to the repertoire and do different things. And like I said, it is different textures. Like, sh- sure, mm. these are like, can be like dick shaped, but they're, you know, they feel different. They like bend different. You can do different wow. things with them. So yeah. And then obviously there's so many shapes, sizes you can. And ultimately like, you don't want to make it about you. Like you want her to be, and this is where you're pr- bringing it back to us, right? It's right. not just about you guys. We want to come out of that and actually finish. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, that's yes. like my whole, that is the whole thing with Pleasure Gap, right? It is crazy. Like the female orgasm, I think we just see it time and time again in like porn and just this narrative in society that we're all kind of building to the male orgasm ultimately. Yeah, like yeah. it's almost like that is the when finale. When you finish, that's the finale. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we just need to kind of, I, I'm trying really hard to help with that message and change that script because I just think sex firstly doesn't just mean like intercourse. It's all of it and then like it's only I think it's about 17% and some people think even lower of like people with vulvas that can orgasm from internal penetration so actually we need to be like much more you know across the whole vulva focusing on the clitoris like all of the bits outside a big part people were more open to experimenting and using tools like that, that number's going to massively increase, isn't it? Exactly. Then everybody's going to be Exactly, because then everyone's happier, right? And then that's overall, I think with um, women especially, like we can get so in our heads about it. Mm-hmm. So actually, if you're not like orgasming, having a great time, you're going to kind of shy away from it. But if you're having that great sex and experiencing amazing things, you're going to naturally 
want to go back into it. You're going to want to go back. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. So let's jump into self pleasure. Actually, my um, I won't bait her up, but somebody I saw today was just like, oh, I brought an amazing clit sucker, and I was like, oh, I'm going on a podcast today and talking <laughs> with Michaela. So. It all starts with self-pleasure. I think I personally yes. buy for me. I know that sounds really selfish. No, absolutely. Just, like, men are selfish yeah. at times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for me too. Yeah, yeah, you should. And then I, I think, think... That's the way it needs to be, girls. So, <laughs> you know, if he's not around, I'm just like, I really just... Because it's such a good... It's so good for relaxing oh, you. so good. Stress, Stress relief. Yeah. Like, mood booster. I think it's energy in the morning. It's better sleep at night. Like, there's so many other benefits. I also think it's like that self-awareness and self-confidence piece. And yeah. I also just think like... If you know what you like, you can then communicate that and advocate for yourself. Like yeah. when the time comes, if you want to share that with a partner. Yeah, like I love clitoral stimulation. Oh, we use yeah. it during sex or beforehand foreplay. Yeah, same. I feel like like men wank every day, pretty mm-hmm. much. I don't know a guy who doesn't. Men wank every day. But I'm wondering if ladies let us know. Do you pleasure oh, I, yourself I every do. day? Every for day, sure. for sure. I I had an addiction. We yeah, talked about this. Addiction. I know I did. I had an addiction where it was like once, sometimes twice a day. That was mainly during COVID. But <laughs> but that's I, I, I think what else was there to do in COVID? So no, I think that was a great use of time. It was great for the bank bank. Yeah, that was like the bank bank time. But do you know what? I I have sex pretty much every day, other than when I'm on my period. So I'm very lucky. But if we don't, then I will say to him, I am about to crack one out. Yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah. Like, get it, girl. Yeah. Squeeze one out yeah. real quick, babe. So, so talk to us about the self pleasure. Like, if you were a single female, or even maybe someone at the time's probably not getting as much as you'd like, yeah. and you think I need to get me some me partner works away, whatever the reason. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. whatever. Where would you start? No, I think you're absolutely right with the clit suckers. I think that if anybody doesn't have one, they are just glorious. Although also dangerous, because like you said before, I feel like thirty <laughs> seconds and you are. You can be like done. So if you're quite like a ceremonious, like, I don't know, want to like long it out, it's maybe not the way to go. I mean, you definitely I don't want to long it out. You don't want to just like in. Boom, boom, let's go. I think people can be different. Was the first time you ever tried the clit sucker, the most intense experience, like eye watering almost? Yes. Yes. I think a lot of people, I get this from a lot of people that I'm talking to them. They're like, I actually can't take it. It's like too much. Yeah. So I think that... I think some people can either like take it off right as before you're about to orgasm or I think if you can like ride through it, it's worth it. But yeah. like, I think that takes practice because actually does. it can be so intense. But then, because was it you that said you didn't like the clit sucker the first time? Yeah, first time round. Okay, so I can't remember. I think it was the same brand, just different types. I'm really not sure. But the first one I tried, I was like, my God, this is so dead. I didn't like it. It took for, it just no, wasn't. No, really? It was off. And then I stopped using it. And then my other friend said, try this. And then I tried it and I was like, whoa, yeah. <gasps> so it was a different like model, but still yeah. the okay. same oh, brand, interesting. different model. Cause I think that's the thing, I guess like the heads and stuff are different. So I like love this one. This is the Lalo Sealer. I'm Lalo. literally Lalo. obsessed, but so that's got quite like a wide, it's got quite a wide head on it. So oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, is like, good. it's really inclusive like for everyone. Cause I think some people, I get the feedback, like the heads are too small. like. Well, um, so I, just literally looking yeah. at that, that is perfect for a clip. Yeah. Like, whereas the one that I've got is just a round hole. So actually sometimes oh, yeah, you lose the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one is also similar. That's got kind of oval shape, but I always find these are quite good. So this one is the Air by Dame, but this one, a lot of people find that one really intense. Like that is amazing. I can I'm see, and that's literally- Literally <laughs> love that one. It's insane. Um, but this one, I feel like it's slightly softer. Like you can build, all of them have got like the setting so you can like- drive them up um you can if you press and hold the middle button queen you can turn it on so you can feel it it goes put it like against my hand oh my yeah you can see it like going oh my god you can see it's like a little tongue but that's like you can either cycle through the middle for different buttons or you can press the plus minus so you can with all of them you can change the intensities but that one is really intense sorry please what? let the camera pick that up the way that little tongue is flickering <laughs> no they show it to the camera it's i know like a- <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, it's like a little air pulsation. So when it's got, when it creates that seal, it's like suctioning. So it's recreating that all sex motion. Put your finger in it, put your finger in it. Yeah, or put it like against your hand. Put it against your hand and you can feel it like sucking. Yeah. No, I need to buy one of these. That one is very, and then this one, if people are ever like, that is too intense, like this is the one I would recommend because it's, let me turn it on. So that's like the first setting. So you can go higher from there if you like crank it up, but it's still... It's still good. It's I a would nice say shape. this is a good beginner level, Definitely. whereas I'm like gagging yes. for that already. That one, <laughs> when I, yeah, when I'd used this one after that one at first, I was like, oh, oh come my on. God. But then actually when people say to me, 
you know that like feeling when you're almost like oh it's too much yeah. like this one I don't feel like you get to it with that oh I know. my god it's got this mode as well it's like a total wild ride so you don't know where it's where it's going I'd and it's like turn it off. So, I'll press and hold the middle one so okay. do you remember guys if you watched Star because we did talk about sex toys once <laughs> right saying, yeah. and I was saying to you guys the enigma and I was trying to explain what it does to you and I was like it's like you're doing backflips and then there's just <laughs> things happening in the air this is the sex toy that I was on about oh, guys it's insane this one <laughs> yeah it's unreal. And the gr- and great thing about it, is it Lalo or Lilo? Yeah, Lalo. They all have that, like, as you go through the different... Yeah. It's like... Yeah, it's, it's got different patterns. It's got different patterns, yeah. So some of the toys, yeah, it depends. And they all kind of mix and match because some people just like that straight vibration yeah. that builds, but it's solid. Because I remember seeing, like, a hilarious meme that was like, who is using the SOS mode on a vibration? <laughs> but I'm like, that's me. And it was like... Dun, 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 and it stops and you're like, where's it gone? <laughs> but the Lilo has both. Yes, it's got like the vibrate and it's also got the patterns. But yeah, this one is wild. So this works. This one obviously goes internally in the vaginal canal and then it's got the like clit suction bit at the mm-hmm. front. So they've also like leveled this one up. I didn't actually have to bring the sample of this, but they've got one now called the Wave. So not only does it do this, the end now basically does like Just this a little, inside I could of you, not. which honestly. I could not. Give game over. You'd yeah. Stop it's, working. It, yeah. You wouldn't be productive anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. And this Back is like, I guess when, partner, when partners are like, oh no, that your toy's going to replace me with this one, you might be like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe may can't. well do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, no, bye. To be fair, we, I'm always like, we can't replace you, right? But it's no. a different sensation. So why don't you want us to have a good time, no, right? We no. just want to experience great pleasure. And this can't give us a cuddle or cook us like pizza. No. But, yeah, you know, it can do great things. What's your, what's your most popular toy that sells quite well? Oh, guys, right. Let me grab it. So this one, <laughs> who would have thought when I set up this business as well, because in my mind, I set up this business for kind of like women that I feel like maybe have lost their way. Like, mm. so I've got two kids and post babies, you know, when you're just a bit yeah, like, yeah, so get off me, out. I don't yeah. want it. Like, I'm like completely touched out. Right. So I thought I'd set up this business and kind of help women that have kind of lost their way. Actually, I think what's happening is the people that are buying are actually probably quite confident. And consequently, my number one bestseller is this butt plug right here. Wild. So I know. But my theory is maybe the more like confident people out there have kind of got a bit of a collection going. So yeah. actually they want to add to it. And like people are just like getting into the butt stuff a lot more. And I feel there's a lot more sh- less shame yeah. and stigma than there maybe was in the past. So mm. this is a lovely little one. It's like not an intimidating size. Actually, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look vulgar at all. I mean, no. I'm not into butt plugs. It's really not my vibe. It's, it's, it's just a no from me. Wishy. Can we break her? We can. I bought her a gift. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so we will break you queen and here's how we're going to do it. Okay. Oh my God. Right. So <laughs> I know I ain't from talking to Holly and listening to the have, potty. I might have yeah. said that you're not the biggest ass fan. I oh, picked it up on some wow. of the episodes, right? So this is what you need and then we're going to be just fine. Okay, so what this is, it, is a little vibrating butt plug <laughs> Look at her face. from that Star Makers. Actually, it's <gasps> So it's here. So I've just given Queen this one, which is so, like, how squishy and lovely. Oh, that's, that's what she's got. Yeah, oh, so not intimidating. Beautiful. But Queen, here's the thing. Okay. I know. Isn't she so cute? Yeah, that's cute. what you've got. And then a little lube for your bum, which is just great because the anus does not Ooh. self-lubricate, right, guys? You need look, this, the lube up there. Look at Stu laughing. Stu. <laughs> right, we need, we yes. need to have a big conversation right, around lube. Whoa. We need the lube because... <laughs> Ooh. right but I just think I feel like on this like anal topic so many people I don't know if this is you queen but I feel like so many people have had a bad time because when they were younger they might have been a bit drunk someone's like shoved something up there when it wasn't asked for you know there was no lube so people have like bad experiences but mm. there's so many great nerve endings up there her face so I think get the lube on there you don't need a partner you want to like I think you want to be by yourself Try have it a great by time. Yourself. Get yeah. that up there. Okay. Enjoy it. Relax into it. Maybe have a nice little bath first. And then, like, have yourself a nice little mass session. Just with one of them in your ass. Queen, Thank it's you perfect so for you, so babe. <laughs> as well, like... It is perfect for me. I just... Yeah. Why not? And also, I always... Well, I don't know what you'd recommend, but I always say just don't eat like 12 hours before and then you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> just to be safe. Obviously, I've had an experience in that department, yes, hence why I'm very conscious about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, by the way. Oh, and you're so welcome. That. Yeah, but actually, as well, as long as you can just like, if you have a big poo, and then you're good. <laughs> you're good. Or honestly, you're yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Because obviously, like, where all the, the poo is, it's like up there. So you've got this, you have got this like anal canal, which is. 
yeah. clean. So as long as you're not feeling like you want to go. You I kind of just could. know, don't you, when yeah. something's sat there ready yeah. to yeah, go. You know. yeah. But I think it's not like I've always been anti-anal. I actually haven't. There was a time where it was okay. I was, I was fine with it. But now... I don't know, maybe it's like the whole two kids thing. You're out of practice. You haven't done it for so long. And now we actually just, I'm like, absolutely not. And mainly you've got to be relaxed. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah. I think, and a lot of it, you're right, it's in your brain. If you're not relaxed, you've got a lot going on. But I think you're right. You do need the time thing. That's why I think that is great for just like, taking time for you to enjoy it and not I think everyone associates it with a, like a partner that yeah, like immediately mm. get yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so yeah but you can say that until like you are comfortable with it which you might you might you might not still be but I reckon I'm get back in there girl totally I'm gonna be texting her gonna tomorrow get back like how was it <laughs> yeah. yeah so I'm gonna get back. it feels so incredibly soft yeah, yeah it soft does. and squishy like a it's tissue. a lovely yeah. one isn't it that was that's the first um anal toy that smile makers have made and it's really like i think it's designed to be more like beginner friendly and it's mm. really non-intimidating it's called the neighbor which i think is so cute i just love that it's got this hook on the end so it doesn't get stuck up your bum because yes once one did kind of like <laughs> your bum does do it though. yeah it does oh my you God. know like the weighted ones yeah. with like the little yeah. jewels on the end it definitely fuck, need to make but... sure it's got that flared base my cousin works in a and e and i'm like <laughs> please can you send me a list of everything people have had at their ass because I feel like it's perfect. So it, is. Yeah, it, is, right? it is. I'm like, you don't need to be shoving all these things up there when we've got all the we've yeah, got all the toys for you. Yeah, it's like what things are being things. shoved up there. What Tell us. I know. No, I don't know. I need the list. Oh. So I'm like, but she. I know. Like bananas are a big one. Yeah. What possesses a nut job? Don't to peel a banana because it's right a penis you... shape. Yeah, but don't peel it. You know it's gonna break. Oh, peeling yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, it's because some there's there's some freaky deaky people that are eating a banana out of assholes. If you like. That's what People it is. People are going there. It's as long as you put like gerbils up there or whatever they used to do. Well, yeah, that's that's not like a thing, wasn't it? I've heard about that. Yeah, no. Gerbils. Does this charge? Yes, so all USB rechargeable, so you can just chuck it in the bottom. Fully waterproof, so if you want to like have a little go in the bath. Let's talk about go, go. that. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. So, I always think like shower sex is overrated. Oh my oh, god! Sex. Yeah, because you just Someone can't said to me the other day, water is not wet, and I'm like, I can't yeah. unsee it. I'm like, how yeah. true is that? So, put this down. But <laughs> yeah, you just like, 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 around. Give me Harry yeah. Potter. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I want to jump into lube. I want to like because yes. I feel. I'm in like my thirties and mm. you always feel this pressure to be wet all the time, right? And as I was saying off oh, yeah. air, like. If you're during your period or something, yeah. sometimes it changes, like you need changes. Yeah, definitely. You're going to have drier spells than others. Absolutely. I think there's two things there as well. So like there's your cycle, firstly. So there's going to be like periods where you're just like straight away into it, but also just the time lag between women and men. So men yeah. can get aroused in like two minutes. Women take like 20 to 40 minutes. So yeah. that's like a massive discrepancy straight away. So actually you, if you don't like have the time, lube is great for that. But I also just think like, Lube is amazing all the time. Yeah. I'm like, wetter is better. Love Chuck that. it in there. Like, I don't think there's a bad, like, I would, I'm like pro lube. The more well, the merrier. I always merrier. get funny yeah, though, sure. like with, cause I always think can lube throw off your pH balance and. No, so there's some like amazing ones now, honestly. Okay. And I think people have, and they only seem to be getting better. Like there's new companies all the time that are launching, like making sure they're really clean ingredients. There's a lot more coming to the market, which are amazing for like menopause or women, which I think oh. is brilliant. So like trying to address that, like dryness, but in like maybe just a more appropriate way. But you're right. I think there's just been so much shame about it in the past and there doesn't, there really doesn't need to be. I feel like it's just the dream if everybody had like lube on their bedside table. That is yeah. like, I love that. And just breaking that kind of stigma that it's a thing that you need it's like, for like oh any God. kind of medical reason or do you know what I mean? Because I just think Especially it's- if you want a quickie. Because yeah, there's been times yeah. where partner has not thought of me. Yeah. And then I'm literally in agony. You know that feeling when they're going Definitely. and you're like, and you're you like, feel your insides yeah, that's and that's that's that <gasps> Oh, the inflamed insides. Yeah. That, that's not okay. No, but that no. is that discrepancy at the start. So if he's there in like two minutes, but you're taking 20 mm. and then it's, it's trying to make something happen, but you're right. That's when you're going to end up getting like thrush and So everyone use lube. Get yeah, lube just use there. lube. There's Get no lube time to build it up. And use lube. lube. Just on that as well. So you've got water-based lube and then silicone. Yeah. Yes. So it doesn't yes. matter really. What? Why? What's the difference? So I would say that water-based lube is better to use with silicon toys. I mean, saying that, like between us, I think if you give a silicon lube a really good wash off mm. after a silicon toy, because the worry is that the silicon lube will damage the silicon toys. Oh, I think okay. as long as you okay. clean it, it's okay. But the main difference is water-based is kind of 
one great for toys, but it will come off quicker. Silicon mm. lube is going to last a lot longer. So a lot of the anal lubes mm. are more silicon based because <laughs> again, that's not self lubricating. So obviously like in mm. the vag, it's it's yeah. mixing with like the vaginal fluids. So it's kind of yeah. easier, but yeah, that's the, that's the main difference. So kind of where you're using it, if you're using it with toys, but really both feel great, but silicon tends to be more longer lasting, okay. but nice. you just probably don't want to mix it as much of silicon toys. How about, so I used to use an anal lube that was slightly numbing. Oh, here you go. She's saying she didn't like anal. I and know. Here she is. I'm but using she's an anal lube. Had an experience. It's I've, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have. So. <laughs> yeah, I have. I, uh, oh, nice. Scarred. And then I just didn't really ever want to go back yeah. to it. So but I maybe used to dabble. In that, yeah. I say dabble. I used to dabble and enjoy it. But now I'm like, the fear's like set the in. The fear's set in. Yeah. That's exactly it, the fear. And yeah. I can't shake it. But listen, this is... I like think if you've one- got time though what on that, this? you know, like if you... Yeah, I think with anal stuff, I think you need to give yourself, it's the relaxation thing, like you are saying, Holly. So I think if you try and rush it and then maybe if you've used a lube that's got something in it. Yeah. It can, if you don't have that time and relaxation, you can get little like micro tears, which is then where like problems That's can happen so yeah, yeah absolutely so I imagine yeah, yeah. that can sting right but there's so <laughs> no there's so many there's so many great like lubes now like this specific one um, this one by Rome is like that's the one in your little pack. That's like a, pack. that's like a little anal one. And but yeah, vegan, most, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> very, very vegan friendly. Yeah, so there's so many now for like different things, which is great. And we do have a couple of like CBD lubes. I wonder if that's. Really? I'm wondering what was in um, the one you talked about. Mm. I can't remember. I'm not sure exactly I mean, what it would be, but I just bought it a while ago. A website and it arrived when I started using it. Yeah. It just. Oh. Not the one. No, not the one at all. Yeah. Really, really put me off. Like I used, um, see, we only use lube for like anal, really. I feel like that's what. Just get it on there, mate. I reckon. Check I'm it just going to shove it on my nose. Yeah, yeah. 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 Take it everywhere. Splatter There's it also, everywhere. do you ever use like arousal serums? So Whoa. back in the day, so there's these yeah. like kind of little, so they just tend to either be like a bit Minty, warming or a bit tingly. The warmy ones are nice. Yeah, yeah. So they can be quite cute. Ooh. You can like, this is what I think. That's quite a cheap one, but you put this on, like, thank you. Rub that on your clit, and honestly, in about three minutes, you're arousal like, yes. serum. Honestly, if we didn't have video, what camera no. probably would be peppermint oil. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's going to feel really tingly. Yeah, it's like more cold. Refreshing. I think that one's a bit more like warming, but they all kind of, yeah, they yeah, I love like them. It's quite nice. Eye stuff on the clit. It's very very good. That's a nice texture. That one. If you pump that one out, I feel like that kind of goes. This I mean, one. I don't know if you want to get your hands. So on. I have a question with yeah, the tingling different. ones, right? Because. Yeah, go on. Oh, yeah. Like, I have a problem with the ones. On. Get it on Ooh. there. So that's quite a nice one. So my vag is really Just sensitive. Literally anything and everything. Ah, uh, okay. It. Fine. You look at it wrong, it gets irritated. Yeah, oh, maybe, that's not, maybe that's not oh. the one for you then. I would so say be stay careful. stay away from the... Okay. Maybe, yeah, just because they have got a bit of like, not spiciness. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? You're right, like the peppermint and tea. Smelly. It it's might smelly. Yeah, it might be a bit much. You probably want to stick to more of the clean like lubes, which oh there's God. loads out there. But that smells amazing. What's that smells really nice. What is it? Yeah. So this one is definitely a little bit minty. This one's minty. They tend to be. Yeah, well, I mean, I why not? you could. <laughs> Let's hope that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It probably doesn't taste that. Oh yeah, it is. It's got right? a little. Oh, it's got a little thing. Spicy. <laughs> That's not bad actually. <laughs> but these are great too. So this is like a little massage oil, and I think like I you know sometimes you start the evening. Heart, like, that, yeah, like your partner's kind of working hard on you, like trying to. You know they're trying to like. Just gonna lick some of my hand. Excuse me, one <laughs> moment. <laughs> Sorry, no, I should have no, no, told you to put do. that on there. Should I? I'm sorry. We've got no we'll tissue. Some no. tissue. Um, but I feel like this is a really good. So there's more massage oils now that are like pH friendly mm. because I feel like things can start one way, mm-hmm. a nice little back rub, and it progresses. Mm. But then if it's like a regular massage oil, you can be in all kinds of like all kinds pH of trouble. trouble. Yeah. Do you know a few what? Days actually, later. that's such a good point. If you're a man listening, like. The best way to get a girl going is massage. Massage, like, massage, 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 on massage, the bar massage. and then just yes. n- on the noon and that, like, trust me, she is wet and waiting for you and you don't it have to worry about all this lube stuff. Yeah. 95% guaranteed a massage is going to work. I'm going to request that tonight. Yes. Got Love me it. made now for that. That's massage. so good. But that's why... Oh, 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 she's, oh, oh, she's, she's dropping, dropping the toys. She's dropping things. Oh, Don't no, know them. I've made it dirty. Um, so little products like this are really cute too because these are like a bit of an all over body massager. So mm. oh, it's nice. like 
obviously you can use it like Dana, but you Ooh. can also like you could like get in your back with it same with um like that big wand there actually sorry that's probably like so a bit fibery straight away i'm looking at this and i'm mm. thinking this is something you put in yourself to do your pelvic floor with no no yeah no so this is more of an external like massager so okay. you can like it's great because what? actually you know, sorry, yeah, turn it up. yeah sorry My some of them like go <laughs> Babe, let me see if I can put this to the mic. <laughs> no, my fingers went numb. My Did it, it's too much. I, I feel just like you have cracked you know when, high. You know when you like make your, make your click go numb? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, do that on you. Really. But what about on like... <laughs> That's amazing. I'm going to leave the room for a bit. <laughs> Babe, the way you did yeah. that on your own, your earring, do it on your earring again. That's hilarious. <laughs> Guys, it's bouncing. Stop it. <laughs> oh my so god! Good. That just goes and not of these show. have lower settings at the start before you feel like it's gonna like your clit's gonna fall off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got some. I'll just like press and hold the little end bit. Oh god. <sighs> yeah. So, but they're also good. You could use that like on a back massage, yeah. like first. So you can mix things up. So yeah, the same with the wand. I'm always like, you know, the ugly ass massage guns that everyone's buying. I'm like. Get one of these. <laughs> yeah, but use it for this. And then uh, you're like, it's dual whammy. <coughs> you can be like, oh, but I've got this. You may as well just put it down there Queen, while you're there. I'll let you tell her. Oh, well, go on. I know what. I've actually used that massage gun for. Oh. <laughs> I has. love you. Oh, that's great. Well, they go, it's dual purpose. It was all right. I mean, yeah. it was a little bit of a pounding. Some, but I was going to say, some of them are a bit thumpy. <laughs> was it? I cannot look at a massage gun. The, the same, same way again. since. Every time I just think of her nun. <laughs> Queen, I think like points for ingenuity. Though, yeah, right? I yeah, was yeah. Just Some people curious. are just out there just using that on their back though. It's a waste of time. I'm going to tell you why I tried it. <laughs> because my clit okay, I lost the cable to charge. <gasps> no. The battery died. No. And it, it just been dead. And I, I don't know. Why didn't I order a new one? Well, I don't know. So one day I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go in that wardrobe and get that thing. And I liked it. it Needs right. much. Yes, Needs I get Needs it. Must. We've all been there. Got to get creative we're at not, times. We're not judging. I've been this, this, <laughs> right. It, it's so incredibly smooth, right? And for anyone who's watching, just look how it slides <laughs> look how she through handles. the hands. Oh yeah, my God. Look how it slides. Oh. Look. That's enough to get a man off right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got a lovely angle to it. So if you are using it with a partner, it's like, I feel like it helps you position, you know, sometimes yeah. they're a bit like tricky for them to like yeah. move their arms around. That's got a nice little angle to so it. So I, that is my favourite, the wand, yeah. but I've got the big black one that goes, plugs into the wall. Oh yeah. Like, you know that one, yeah. that one, right? Yeah. Did I tell so you that? So if I'm like on like all fours and then I've like got my hand through like, you know, on and whatever is from behind, it, it is too it's just, bulky. It's just in the way, but isn't it? this is, like you say, it's giving the... Yeah, <gasps> the curve. Ooh, Look at that. I know. Yeah, there it's lovely one. That's really nice. That's the answer, people. Yeah. And I feel like I used to have similar um, wand, but it was big, it was bulky. I had to plug it into the wall. And then it just, one day, it just exploded like in the wall. <laughs> and that was the end of that. No, I'd have been <laughs> devastated. It's I was. So I was cut up inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and I, I was like well that's dangerous I so, do feel like the wires though they are just a bit like they're, yeah, they're, they're holding us back a little bit they now they do they're so old school yeah. now right it's but some now. of them though I think some people do still like it because they do they do still like pack a punch like the technology is oh, getting yeah. better all the time but like them they, yeah, some of them plug in the wall ones are like sometimes I'm numb again. and I'm like you will come <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll well, go again <laughs> literally literally so <laughs> this fascinates so sorry it. but you know, it is isn't it oh my god it's it so is. true right it's, it's like your clit is like enough and you're like oh it said no yeah <laughs> but it gets you angry and then it turns you on more and then you I just it's a fucking cycle love um I keep seeing these online so what are they? See, some people are a fan of these. I personally find these a bit intense. So this is like more of a um, pinpoint clitoral stimulator. So the it's moving in a little like figure of eight motion, but it's quite like, direct. Like oh, I kind of prefer it like a little bit, a bit around. More around. Yeah. So this is reminding me of like when a boy has a really pointy finger and they're like this on your yes. clit. Yes. And it's yeah. like, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's just, mean, just, this just, is like just. one of the best sellers, but I am, I, I am still a bit like, would you? Why? So though? my question, rather yeah. than doing it like on the clip, mm -hmm. as my clip, would you not have it so it's like resting yeah. flat? Yeah, it'd be easier. Going I think it. that would be like a nicer way More to use pleasant. it. Yeah, that must be what people are doing. Because I prefer like these kind of like all over like vulva massages. There's probably a little. 
This one? Yeah, that one's so squishy. If you feel <gasps> it in your hand. This is, this is like the one you put in your pants. Well, you, you, I mean, you can, but also it's just like an all over one. So I think, again, these are really easy. This one in particular, it's got such a nice weight to it. You can almost like Ooh. chuck it on just and let it rest. Like back, but it's, let me throw it to you. Um, it's a love, because it's just like stimulating the whole like outside of the vulva. It's like and the one but wider. It. We forget about the whole vulva has got so many nerves. Oh, I didn't bring my clip pillow. I should have brought my, like, I've got a vulva pillow. I should have brought oh. it. I know, I love it. It's so cute. I'd love to take that with me. But yeah, because the, you obviously see like the head of the clitoris, but the like legs go into like the they labia do, at the yeah. side. So mm-hmm. it's so important to like stimulate the whole thing. And I think sometimes people are really just, focusing on the clit yeah. or, you know, trying to get straight in there. and. Mm-hmm. It's a little journey. So these are a great like starting ones for like just all over stimulation. So, I think think you want to add on that? (laughs) She's going to do it. She's having a moment. That is all. I know, it's when it goes to those like. I always think that one looks like a little computer mouse. I think it's the little button at the top. I think you hold down and press it off. She says, chuck it to me if you're struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling. Um, Thank you. So (laughs) I always think like I. She's. I love getting it. She can't turn it off. She says, press and hold the top one. Yeah, there we go. So I love trying new things. And I think we're really lucky as women as we do have a lot available for us. Mm. And I often think like, oh, what do men have? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Wow. Or or even something that, because sometimes for like men, it's that it's self do you know what I mean? Yeah. What, like, how can a woman get involved with a sex toy? I think that's the thing. I think the male toys are one of the like fastest growing like okay. areas because I think for so long, whilst it's a lot of men buying sex toys for women, so men are purchasing them. They're not necessarily purchasing them for themselves. Right. So that is definitely an area that's growing. So let me grab one. Um, these <gasps> fleshlights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a little one. So the fleshlight like quick shot. So these are basically little, you can like either pick an end or you can like, they also do massive versions of these, by the way, that look like actual torches. But this, these ones are little, this one's modeled on Riley Reed, the porn star. So we've got Riley's lips <laughs> and we've got Riley's asshole. Love it. Oh my wow. God, so that would be her actual yeah. asshole. The middle is just like a general texture. I mean, you're welcome to like <gasps> put your finger oh in it. Oh my there. God. Yeah, but, <laughs> so <gasps> men are kind of, you can like chuck a load of lube in there and then Wait, they can use it to like, I guess just mix up the experience. It's like a bit different from using For those not watching, Holly's fingering the fish Wait, like. hang on. I've got so many questions. So is this what we <laughs> feel? Is this what we She's feel like? fingering the fish like, guys. Is this what we feel like inside as women? Well, I think obviously because know. it is quite like textured in there. It's not like dead smooth, is it? Like no, it's, it's so <gasps> It's replicating like a bit of, because I guess with their hand, like no, it's just trying to move fingers deep. Hand. She's going, she's going <laughs> in. Your fist. No, I'm yeah. joking. Get Dylan in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We probably needed some lube. Right, so hang on. When a man wants to come with this, yeah, it's either coming out the butt or the mouth. Yeah, they can kind of pick. So th- there's also the longer ones, and I th- they can. I just don't think th- most men do because like the cleanup is a mess. The cleanup, oh. the cleanup on these things. What's the girl's I name? A nightmare. He's Riley Reed on that one. My but you can- finger is in Riley Reed's asshole. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's a lucky gal. Right. <laughs> you can get just more like Ooh. generic ones too. Like they're not all necessarily modelled on porn stars, but like really yeah, you can get. I only think of that is. Very, it's very soft. Mm. So, do so men if not, not getting need that grip, more, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't have a penis, sadly. It's accurate. Whoa. Right, let me feel again. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why but, guys are obsessed with having sex. Because I'm sorry, that is sensational. It's great. Get a little in there. Yeah, but also, I did actually overshare. Saw some really good porn the other day where a girl was kind of sucking dick having a great time but then mixing it up using this like in between to mix up the textures as so she was really, kind of using this on a toy she was kind of alternating getting in there with her hands getting in there with her mouth putting so a flashlight on there so you could be eating their ass and then giving her a, tr- a r- yes. was it called a rusty, rusty trumpet. Trumpet. Yeah, trumpet yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, okay yeah okay. so you can mix it up so there's those which are a bit of a crowd pleaser by the way this has just been chilling <laughs> the whole just like like I love I've it. Got lecoq, <laughs> and that one goes in the dark. So you know. Oh, there this you go. It's also a great little toy. So some what of my friends this? have nicknamed giving... this the taco. Okay, I love this one. Well, I just this... thought duck beak. Did you? Yeah, is that, yeah. But that's taco and duck beak. Looks taco well. or the taco. Yeah. So this is a little like um, masturbator. So you can chuck a bit of lube in there. Um, it's obviously got the like ribbed. Yeah. Ribbed in the middle, so you can use it for like wanking the guys off, or you know. I also, like little top tip, like to kind of turn it over, put it like 
under the balls. So this little bullet bit that's in the back is like vibrating <gasps> their perineum. So then you can be like still stimulating around. Um, it's a great little toy. Or you can just use it on yourself and grind on it. Ooh. Or the bullet bit actually comes out, which I won't try and do because it's a bit stiff. But you yeah. can, so you could also just be like, actually, I'm going to use this for me. So I think this is like a three, wow, four great. in one toy. Duo. That is like a great one for couples. Um, and then there's obviously just like, Classic cock rings. I know we've probably gone from penis toys. No, I'm here like for it. I'm back for amazed. penises, but also for us. Um, so the, I'll be honest. So yeah. I look at cock rings and I just think, obviously I'm not the guy. So I'm just assuming. Yeah. But I think they must be so boring, but they're not. For them. Man. Well, I think that they're probably not used to having any extra sensations. Yeah. I yeah. could be wrong. And also like, so this one, um, it like, it vibrates on it. But the good thing for them is that extra little bit of like, tension that can kind of help them like stay Stop. hard it helps with sensation yeah. so yeah. actually there's like other benefits too and then also like we were saying earlier most vulva owners are coming from clit stimulation that's oh, so giving that so it's like a two thing, in one so they're kind of maybe prolonging things for them a little bit staying nice and like firm and then we get the extra little so cock rings are really good for men the ones with like the little balls around as well have you mm. seen that yeah 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 they like, so they'll keep yeah the dick hard yeah it does just helps mm. like i think it's a nice little that's not necessarily why you like have to use them but it's mm. nice i think it sometimes gives that extra feeling of firmness which yeah. mm. can be quite nice sometimes oh my gosh this Mixing is giving up. me so many ideas <laughs> so, this, this is a great little couples one sorry go on, go, no, go, go 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 no, carry um, on, carry on. so is that? this it's like a little bug. This one, this is what I'm saying. So this is like the world's first crowdfunded vibrator, right? So I think this is amazing, but this is like a wearable partner vibrator. So again, back to like us needing clitoral stimulation, this like lives in these little arms kind of hook in your lips. I just do my little, oh my a little demo. Wow. So the little bullet bit here will be vibrating against your clip, but there's still like access to the vagina beneath it. So, that is and that will like be getting you out. And then that, yeah, it can be like, yeah, and it's like, it's designed to like stay on there. So I think you can get, you can get pretty like adventurous with that in, without it. That's I mean, insane. It depends like how adventurous Girl. you are, I suppose, before it falls out, but it will like, let me see that little you thing. You want it? Yeah. Boop. It's got a little like the, the buttons at the top if you want to like press to turn it on. Queen, I feel like you'd love that. Yeah. I feel like it's a bit yeah. new. Cause it's still, you've still got like access, but it's And it does nice it little. change like the rhythms and patterns or? That one I think just has the different vibrations. I think it's got three vibrations. That's sensational. But it's just nice cause you can wear it, but you've still got access for intercourse if you if you mm, want it. Yeah. So it's nice. Cause yeah, a lot of the time, if so you're trying good. to like, get in there, but you're also trying to get a wand in there. Like it's so a bit this is so, the thing. so yeah, difficult. Wand is the go-to. And I just, I love when we're having sex, some cl clitor, I can't say it, but Clitorial. you know where I'm going yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. stimulation. But a lot of the time, unless I'm using my clit sucker, yeah. which I've lost the charger. Can you even imagine the oh, devastation? No. Oh, I know. So I have to go to the wand, but the wand's just way too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like bulky. And then it's just like killing the It gets the in the way. And also it's like, you've got to focus a lot on yeah, keeping it do, there. you do, you do. Because if you lose, lose it, the rhythm. Yeah, I know. The rhythm, yeah. I know, If you lose I know. the rhythm, then you're like, oh, great, and wait, it, oh, shit, they like no. move it and you're like, no, no stop. No, or I'm yeah. like, I'm nearly there. Yeah. And then they move and you're like, yeah. that's uh, so Yeah, selfish. so that is good because that one kind of, that will stay on through like a lot. But it's a cute little designed thing, that one. It really is. Love so that. Adorable. Do you know what I've had before and I really liked it? Like you could get the little sex toys where they'll have a little remote and it can like, they'll yeah. control it. I even had a Bluetooth one once where apparently oh, they could be in a yes. different country. Yeah. That's actually- I've got some of them in the box outside, yeah, really but there is quite, yeah, there's quite a few of those that you can get, which is great. So you can, the satisfier like um, ones, love those, but they can even, your partner can even like almost do a little dance like on the screen and it will on their, move on it. Phone. Yeah, they can like move it to that, but you're right. You can use it in like different countries, like same room. But if you're going out for dinner, yeah, yeah. You try to yeah, yeah, yeah. when I was having dinner once and it was just like- Hilarious. Literally <laughs> they're coming at the table. <laughs> 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 and so when Harry met Sally. Yeah, legit, <laughs> legit. So one thing I've definitely noticed and I, I don't know, like some women, just don't like the insertion of a of a dildo, right? Yeah. And yeah, I get yeah. it because it's not my favorite thing. Yeah, same. But I've noticed, obviously, you've got like the lay low here. Mm -hmm. You've got a couple here. Yeah, but it's more of the internal ones. For someone that maybe hasn't liked an internal before, like, because the other thing is there's just so many internal yeah. and you're just like, what's the difference between them all? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Right. So firstly, I think 
people that are feeling that way, you are not alone. I actually think there was some studies recently that said like intercourse is women's or vulva owner's least favorite sex act. Mm. Again, that's because we're all kind of coming off the external stimulation. So yeah. firstly, I think that makes complete sense, especially if you're by yourself, you're kind of like, Over give it. me the clit sucker yeah, yeah. and we'll get this done. But I think a few things, I think definitely like take your time with it. You need that like arousal time to build up. Lube is obviously like your best friend. And then I think you kind of want them with like, a bit of curve or a bit of shape. So mm. this one's amazing. This one's called the arc because it will like be in there. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's actually quite important to remember that your G spot is only about two inches inside. So some people think they've got to be like all the way deep up in, in there. there. Say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically, yes. So Come with the motion. Oh, annoying again. I've got another one. I don't think it's there. Sorry, I think it might be outside, but it's like a perfect little one by Layla as well that kind of waves. And that's an Ooh. app control one because they just like hit that you actually probably only need to be like this far in to be hitting it. So again, people think you've got to be much further inside, but actually kind of the outer kind of, well, just inside of your vaginal canal is so packed with nerve endings. So yeah. that, they call it like shallowing, like only going in a little bit mm -hmm. can feel really great. So maybe start there mm -hmm. before you try and don't feel like you've got to go too far in or rabbit vibrators of which, you know, there's loads on the market. This one's a great one because it can kind of, you can oh, shift damn. the angles. Oh my gosh, that is so to good. different bodies. Yeah, because sometimes like I've brought one, I've got a, a Lalo, mm -hmm. and you're just like, oh, it's just too not quite there. Yeah. yeah. So this is really inclusive because it can you can make it work. And this one actually, you can kind of use vaginally and on your clitoris, or you can have this anally and then like perianal, oh, which is quite a nice. I'm sorry, but a DP. Can we just say, look how far rabbits have come. Yes. Yes. Do you remember those the old, old days of like, I know. And I'm not yeah, being yeah. funny, that fat plastic used to rip you yeah. apart. It was hard, it was stiff, yes. it was sharp. Yeah. And it was like the gold standard, wasn't it? Yeah, I feel it like that's like the one we all and had. And those, um, yeah. that, those the balls, balls really. yes. and it would rotate. But oh. those two little prongs. Yeah. Woo. Savage yeah, on the yeah, clip. Yeah, yeah. So savage. Nice, this is lovely, really great shape. And again, you can kind of move it to you so you can make it like less intense, mm -hmm. more intense. It's lovely. This one actually has a great like squeeze sensor, which I love. So if you're like getting to it and you want it to buzz a bit faster, you can squeeze it versus, you know, when you're having That's to like good. click, yeah, click because press it's, the buttons and you're like, yeah. come on. <laughs> Even that in itself, pressing the buttons, you're taking your focus elsewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's yeah. so like being like present with it, I think can stay in your brain is like your biggest sex organ. So even that in itself is kind of taking you away from it. So yeah, it's lovely little designs like that that have made them come a long way. That's You've got the Layla really one there, haven't you? really incredible actually, yeah, because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to find the button. Is yes. it top, yeah. is it bottom? Oh my God, what's going on? Yeah. Wow. I feel like I've got to position my hand on some of them before I start. Yeah. So I'm like, if I know I need to change it, like you're just going to be yeah. like messing about in there. It'd be a nightmare. Or there's ones like this one, which are just quite frankly, I think I showed you girls this before, didn't I? It like, so it like waves. So that is, can you see that one's kind of getting that repeated motion like against your G spot. And it's also got the, the, my mouth is actually watering. Look at this is that. like ridiculous. I mean, I can't. This one I actually got your green face. I love it. But you're right. Like the tech has just come so far, and the materials are amazing. Dude, like so soft and squishy. I uh, spaced out there for a bit, <laughs> looking at it with like. love. Like <laughs> I know she's a thing of beauty. Yeah. Wow. So they have come so far. I know. But I get it. With the back to your question about like people not necessarily wanting to take it internally. I feel like I get it. Like actually it's feeling best for like over 80% of us mm. yeah. more on the external parts of the vulva. So it's like, go with what I think, go with what feels great for you and you can't go wrong. So if you was to start, if you are watching this and you're thinking, oh my God, I'm such yeah. a newbie, but yeah. I want to treat myself. Like where would you start somebody? Oh my God, can I grab one from next year? Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? This one is a dream, right? So this one, is called The Whisperer by Smile Makers. I feel like I've been like gifting this to loads of people. Right. So firstly, it's so squishy. Let me pass it around. Um, also, it's called The <laughs> Whisperer because it's, <laughs> it's the quietest thing ever. So if you are living with parents, flatmates, you know, like- Children. Or children, it's you just want to like go, you can't even like hear it. But the end is so squishy. So this is designed as an external one again. So it's kind of like a lipsticky bullet vibrator. Yeah. Is it reacting to my squeeze? No, I don't know. Press. You press the button at the front. Uh, but yeah, that's nice because there's but no... But you can cycle through. So I think there's vibrations and patterns on that one. It's welcoming. Yeah. That's, it's that's lovely. It. And actually that one was designed in collaboration with Mumsnet. So they oh. they made it for like, they were thinking kind of mums postpartum. You know where you're, again, you're like 
get off me or, you know, things are going on like down there and it's all a bit tender, but you maybe want that you time for yourself. You're not ready to like introduce a partner. So I think that makes a really great beginner um, vibrator or like gift. The silence is incredible. Yeah. I cannot tell you how paranoid I get when, you know what, I've gone to lengths to make sure like I've turned my toy on, left it on the bed, went outside, yeah, shut I've the done door, all that. stood in the <laughs> hallway. Like, are Check. they going to hear me? Are they going to hear it? Yeah. And also, I'm like, why would kids of a certain age hear that vibration and go, oh my God, oh, she so must be having this? I think mommy's brushing her towel, teeth. Put a towel on her <laughs> still. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it all by. That's crazy, isn't so it? Like, you are desperate to sound, br- put music yeah. on, all of that nonsense. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And this being so quiet is it's amazing. So quiet. Yeah, I love that one. So I think that's an amazing beginner one another one as well am i being silly but there's no hole here or does it go in yeah no it you... kind of the charger is like a little pin pro- oh, so again okay. it goes in at the bottom so all rechargeable which is amazing um so that one i think is an amazing beginner one and that's against external so i think like everyone's gonna love that really mm, and it's yeah. not complicated again get some lube in there you'll be having a great time if you want one that's more like internal external this is a nice little one um so this one is called dip you can use this internally and again it's like only a couple of it it basically is designed to hit your g-spot it's not going in too far so it's going to hit all those great nerve endings but you also can still use it externally and you've got this wide bit here if you want it more pinpointed you've got that or you've kind of got these ridged angles so you've got textures depending on what you like because i think everyone likes different things right that's a good one for making you squirt Mm. oh nice you know like sex golf 2024 yeah <laughs> you know but no, do you know like only 50 i've heard only 50 percent of women can squirt oh, i just i don't yeah i don't know apparently everybody can learn right so because it's obviously i think people think it's associated with like having a great orgasm but it's not like no, it's, uh, it's not. basically a party trick right so i'm like but it i want to i want to do it um but my friend actually with like the Layla seal of the clit suckers, she's basically like, you know, that point where you feel like you've got to take it off because it's so painful yeah, when you're about to come. She's like, that's basically when you're going to do it. When you're going to do it. Yeah, and a lot of people, sure. I'm like, I can't. Like, I because then you're it. thinking you're going to piss yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but you know, but you it's don't from the yourself. same canal, but it's a different. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah, it's definitely different. And I've got another friend yourself. whose advice is literally like, she's like, just relax. She's like really, really yeah. relaxed. And I think that, we tend to, or some people, especially if we're like stressed, you know, when you kind of are reaching that like climax point, you are almost like holding your breath or like breathing in. I think you need to like- The key is breathe breathing out, in, out, right? What, yeah. is your, what is your top tips with climax? Because honestly, once you get there, bloody hell, it's just the best. Oh, but- glorious. And just sometimes is a struggle. Mm. Yeah, know? what to get there. Mm. I But I think they then, if you're, I think sometimes we can get in this cycle, particularly women, where we're like, we're kind of overthinking it or we'd be like, oh, it's taking too long now. Or, yeah, you know, like those sometimes. intrusive thoughts come in. So I don't think that helps. But I think it's I think it's breathing. Ultimately, it's like grounding yourself. And I think that if you feel like your mind's wandering, trying to focus on like, I don't know, say what is the one thing that's feeling great to you? Maybe it's something that you're doing yourself or it's something a partner's doing or it's a smell in the room or, you know, something that just keeps yeah, you present. Okay. And I think if you can breathe through it, I think that's how you're going to have the best of Just on that, actually, like a hundred percent, I've like, my head's gone elsewhere. Yeah. And then I think if you are doing, having like the self moments where it's just you and the vibrator, that is the best time, I think, to practice on becoming mindful and bringing it back to the yes. feeling. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. I also found like with my partner taking away senses. So like vision, Love it. Like if you've got sound on, sometimes yeah. we've played porn just for the sound, but not watched anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Having that like audio. Yeah. But I think it is, it's, it's that senses, brain distraction, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? yeah that, that like sensory play, I think is great. Mm. Yeah. So we've got some lovely little, just grab some BDSM bit. Yeah. Let's get oh, right into it. Oh, girl. Damn. Here you go. Do you want any of these? Give me that Whack paddle. The paddle. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. oh, hey, girl. <laughs> I love a paddle. You've been naughty. <laughs> uh, uh, I should have brought my wig. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's What's got Gretchen? a wig. Gretchen Black. Gre- Gretchen Black is my <gasps> little dominant. I feel ego. like this was made yes. for Gretchen Black. Yeah, she yes. loves a paddle. She need it. That's actually not painful. Is yeah, that's like, like different something... levels. That's quite a, I think that's quite a, yeah, quite a reasonable one. Yeah, because you've got some of like, yeah, that, that's, some have got like EXO and little yeah. things and then that's where it hurts, isn't it? Yeah, and you can get some have got more, yeah, like I suppose metally bits. That's, that's quite a nice one. But yeah, res- but taking away like a sense is a great like way to do that. So cute little yeah. like blindfold or like this tape is amazing. So it 
it only tapes like to itself. So you could tape that like, if you wanted, like around my head and my hair and it wouldn't pull <laughs> my hair. Should we do a demo of that right yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> Let's tie So it tapes up. to itself. So it tapes like back to itself. So you can like, I guess tie somebody up. It's easy to up. get out of. Yeah, it is quite, because it's quite stretchy. That's the thing. I feel like that's quite a good one because you're not going to, it's not, you know, like you don't feel like you're going to duct tape the hair off your arm or anything so, like that. Do you know, I panic. Right. Could I wrap that I love, myself as an outfit? Yeah, like I mean, wrap I think, Yeah, you do. Know you know what I, mean? I love that. I think that'd be a good look. That yeah. It sticks to itself. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> given <laughs> Halloween. Like, yes. I have such a thing with restraints, right? So I love it, but I also panic. You know, um, Footballers' Wives, where Tanya's like sleeping with the guy and then he dies. <laughs> like, oh my God. I yeah, but babe, like that. I've got a fear that like I'm being tied, tied up tied and up. then he has a heart attack from gonna... how great the sex is and then he dies. And then, <laughs> and I'm then you're just there like rotting. Fuck. <laughs> and then like my mum has to walk in and fight. Oh my God. You've shut yourself, it. you've pissed yourself, Literally, you're stupid. Like, like, you need your that... phone nearby so you go like queen on speed dial. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sex yeah. accident. Happens. Happens. So this, <laughs> this feels safer, but I actually yeah. have like a under the bed um, oh, restraint mattress system. restraint. Yeah, yes, that I makes love me feel those. better because you can yeah, slightly move. They are good. Yeah. And also stuff like this are great for beginners because it's like, Ooh. handcuffs but it's like you can get out of them really easily same with like the gags they're not as they're it's just food. something so sexy have you got some of this tape with you today say that again have you got some of this tape with you today yeah I mean you can have that one if you want it girl listen she's leaving Good here when I came Boy, up with yeah, all my she's money like, I want it she's like I need to make a dress out of that <laughs> yeah. for real that would look she's, so spicy as a little top <laughs> spicy spicy yeah maybe a piece <laughs> here piece there <laughs> yeah dom and I can be yeah. like but I think that's a great way to like kind of get into it and have a little play like with kinks, see what you might be getting into. And also like you've said back to that, like your yeah. mind's wandering, taking away like a sense. Yeah. If, I think you can just relax into yourself a little bit more. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, because I feel like I used to be a big time sex person. Like it was she used great. to sex clubs it a lot. Fun. We used to I've clubs. been listening to the episodes. Yeah. Honestly, it. and then just recently, obviously, like being unwell and just you, you just change. And I'm kind of like not so engaged with it. Yeah, I'm really lost touch. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to be like, wah, wah, wah. I'm not even forty yet. Yeah. I need to bring it back. And I think today's display. I love it. Just but that's so okay, though, right? Because I feel like yeah. we all go through these like phases. I, you do. I read yeah. that the other day that said like women in their 50s are basically having like their best sex. But I think that's because you like know yourself and you feel confident yep. and you're yeah. willing to like say what you want and communicate to yeah, your partner. Yeah, yeah. I think like, if I think back to it when you were in your 20s, you're not oh doing that God. in the same way. Just like, lie there in silence. You really. do, you do. You and do, yeah. Yeah. It's good. And then you're there bitching to your friends being like, oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you break up with a boyfriend, wow. Yeah. <laughs> he was crap. I used to fake it all the time. Uh, yeah. what? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I know. But there is, they're just nice little like beginner ones. Obviously there's more complicated. We've got some of them under the bed systems. They're great, Holly. I love those. So yeah. the under the bed system is like the whole yeah. fully restrained. So it's like the straps you put under the mattress. So then the cuffs will like come around the bed. And do you know what's so exciting? You just don't know when it's going to come because you know, you could be doing bits and then if like they're in the mood and you just see it come out and you're like, Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> such a little freak but I'll own it all day that's so good I love <laughs> you just got it there ready to go that's Literally, great like, honestly, the candy store. when my mum says she stays over and the, uh, we were in Dubai and she was like I'm going to sleep in your bed I was fucking panicked please mother <laughs> did, oh, I like, oh, did I tuck it under the mattress to be fair I know she's freaky deaky Mandy Nixon oh, so anything I've God. got she's probably got double of but um, <laughs> yeah you just die with, with stuff like that oh my gosh this has been such a fun chat. I'm oh, always like, is there anything else I can ask you or know, anything else, else we need to know? We haven't talked about the glass. Do you want to talk glass? Yes. Oh yes, my God, yes, the glass. Yes, yes, yes. yes, the glass. This <laughs> gives me the fear. That Does looks, it? Yeah. It looks like an alien and it looks like it's going to destroy your insides. How are you absolutely sure that feels Listen. nice? So I think it's not different the, things for different people. Right? I get this one, but I think with glass, it's great for like a bit of temperature play, maybe. So you yeah. can kind of heat oh it up, God. cool it down. I do get that maybe some of the like little, what do you call them? Like nodules yeah. are giving kind of tentacle vibes on that one. Have you seen those wild sex toys like with the massive? Yes, they actually <laughs> terrify me. Like the big like aliens or like I don't octopuses. know how I even come across mm. it. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Of course 
she does. I love these ads. I, I was just know. like in such a rabbit hole. And I was like, I need to get off this website because this is going <laughs> to places I don't even want to go to. There is some like insane stuff that you can get. It's absolutely amazing. Like there was an actual human fist oh as a dildo. Gosh. Yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> yeah. <you've> seen- <laughs> Something for everyone, Lich, right? Le- legit, everyone loves it. <laughs> I used to be, and probably still am. Haven't tried, haven't done it for a while, but I used to be besotted with watching fisting videos. Did you? My, <laughs> oh my God! Gosh. Oh, honestly, I just fucking loved <laughs> watching it. It was weird. I love that we felt like this like queen hates Aina. Now she's like, yeah, when I have this coming family, out, trust all my me. fisting videos. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I used to be obsessed with watching fisting videos. It's just so incredibly it fascinating. It is a bit like, how is it happening? How, it? Yeah. I am a bit like, what's the magic? Like, it's, what's- in my opinion, it's just like, we are constantly trying to push the boundaries. Like, yeah. And this is my thing with, with porn. Like I've stopped watching as much porn because, well, actually I can't remember last time I watched it. Because it got to a point where you're then going to the depths of porn. Yeah, it starts to get deep. Vile stuff. And you're just like, this is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with me, ex? So you like draw it back I in. But then sometimes, yeah. honestly, honestly, for real, because I was in this phase where I was just buying sex toys every week. You know, like just, what's the next best thing? I'm what's so the next best thing? Like I spent £400 on a sex machine once. <gasps> what, the ones that are like, yeah. <laughs> Did you? Do you have one? Do you have one? Babe, I actually sent it back because it was shit and they were like happily accept it. Obviously they're not going to resell it. But <laughs> you <hope> yeah, not. <laughs> I, I don't know. 400 pound though. Like that's, that's when you know you've got a problem. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so I, I know exactly what you were watching to make you buy that. <laughs> I don't. Can you send it to me? <laughs> I'll send you the link. I'll send you the- I know exactly what you are watching. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a fucking weirdo. Sorry, just going back yeah, to the glass. Like constantly trying to push the boundaries because you yeah. kind of normalise to some stuff and then you're like, oh, yeah. what's that next thing? And that I you're think chasing? I tried it and I was like, this is shit and you've lost the plot, Holly. So send it back. <laughs> and, and 400 pounds on a sex story for me is wild, I think. <clears throat> yeah. So, okay, the glass. Yes. I get the cold temperature thing because I like playing with ice yeah. a little bit yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that shit. Nice. Where I was complaining right at the beginning of the show about like the plastic and it being really really hard would you say glass is maybe more anal play yeah i think so although that would scare me with the like nodules. The nodule-y bit. so maybe not that specific one but yeah i think you can get a lot of like glass dildos that are good for that because it's giving anal bead yeah, yeah it's totally. like the level up isn't maybe. it oh that's one we didn't talk about Oh, oh, it's given Harry Potter. Oh my God, we're changing. Sorry, what, we're in the talking Hermione about- Granger. Wow. <laughs> Wingardium. <laughs> <Let me answer. laughs> um, these, yeah, just just on the top of the yeah. beads. So this is like, um, these are called the Soraya beads by Lolo. And this is like, yeah, a vibrating anal bead. So this is one of their newer toys, but it like, if you can feel it, like it waves like up the beads. So Ooh. I went on a trip to one of the sex toy trade fairs in Germany with my mum. She Can came I with me. With oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, but my, um, like, what do you call it? The account oh. manager at Layla, I love her. She's an absolute legend. Mm. But she was there like, she's like, girl. She was like, my anal orgasm. Like after this, she's like, you need it. She literally was like, she gave me that sample. She's like, take it, take it. You need it. My mum's just like, what is happening? But that is like a magical feat of engineering. That, so I think that's, that's like leveling up really, from the sex. really lovely. From- so yeah, just it cool? quickly yeah. on the annual orgasm then, yeah. because I'm always like, yeah, guys, they 100% have to do it. They're missing out on yeah. the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. But for women, we do have them. We Yeah, we can. Like it can stimulate, like they call it like the A spot, like higher up. Okay. But I think there's, I don't know for sure if there's like enough research to be like, is it still just all like connected to yeah, the, to the clip and Yeah, and, and just all the whole like so network. So A spot at the top for us or yeah, the bottom? at the top. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, when so you're like doing right man's, kind of you there. should like go up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like if no. they're laying on their back, you should go up oh. like that. Yeah. yeah, like a kind of, I'm trying to think there which way they are. Yeah, no. So he, if he's lying on his back, <laughs> like like his legs around you, and his penis is not pointing up, <laughs> you need to go in. I know, no, you still want to be like, up. yeah, come here that. Yeah, yeah come here like, yeah, yeah, that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I'm feeling for that like warm like I bit. just want to make sure everyone gets it right. You don't want to be like, yeah, no, wrong like, way. You want to feel for that little warm them wrong, protection. you know. Oh yeah. I didn't gosh. bring any prostate toys, but that's what you should have said for men. Yeah. I'm like, men. 
I'm See trying now, to say yeah. I'm trying to convince my husband. He's not really into it. Yeah, I'm like, just, can't get it up the there. Thing. I mean, yes. he, it's, he doesn't have a choice at this point. Yeah, yeah I love husband. it. Holy so, snark. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she loves it. Like, yes. But their I, orgasm from the prostate is supposed to be much more like a kind of female full, like our full body orgasms. I think the penis orgasm is supposed to be quite superficial, like by comparison. So they can have this orgasm like us from their prostate, but they're just, you know, a lot of them are being prudes. So they need to- Always yeah. thinking what their orgasms are like, men. Yeah. I've always wanted to, that fleshlight has changed my world, putting my hand in there. Now <laughs> I know. I, I get it now. Do. Yeah, I really <laughs> understand why most men want to do it all the time because it's, if I had a dick, I'd want it in that all the time. Also, <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> the way she's cackling. <laughs> but also like if, okay, so you know, we talked about open relationship, threesomes, frapples, whatever. Like these toys almost opening that world up and yeah. allowing oh, people yeah. to experience yeah. like two mouths that they go like one on their ass Definitely. and one around the cock. Yeah. And it's a great way, I suppose, to like test it too yeah. before you go in there. Like I think if you've got a certain fantasy that you want to play out, you can almost introduce it via like, Toys. toys or other ways and then see how you feel yeah talk oh it through i know <laughs> i literally want to talk all night about this yeah. but i just know our lister has not got three hours yeah no <laughs> um anything you want to add queen or ask well no not ask or add just uh she was oh, ready to get go, into baby. it no this has been really really amazing for me because it's i don't i haven't really had much opportunity to talk think or want to have yeah, sex and yeah, this yeah. has been a really good chat i, I that. literally have one sex toy i used to have a dildo but <laughs> it was so hideous <laughs> even getting it out and it had these weird ridges <laughs> i just used to look at it and be like <laughs> like of the shame disgusting. Oh. it was really shameful and it was vile it had the ridges then you'd use it and there'd be all the fucking cream on it and it's, i'm like <laughs> relationship you have with your sex toy has got to be like good you got to but fancy it you got to be like you got to like it, it. Like, and yeah. also it had a weird hole and then i used to have to like squeeze oh. Oh. but I just so i threw it away because it actually started yeah. to make me feel sick so now i've literally have one toy which is the clit sucker and i think some of this is really gonna be um a game changer interesting it's like connection back to you yeah, yeah that's what you want I'm it's that time for you yeah Yes, girl. Yeah. Get me, get me I'm gonna bend over this chair in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I will take it there. Stuart, <laughs> Stuart, is there anything you want to ask as a male <laughs> listening in on this? Are you God. just shaking? Yeah. Your- what? What are you leaving here? <laughs> he you already want, got you? the demo with Michaela. He oh, already got the demo. Damn. But I do think men need to try some more of this stuff. Definitely, and actually, yeah. um, as a as somebody that's had the, you know, the shit from the man on the other side when they're like, why do you want to use that? And mm. like, I think you just need to push free. Yeah. There's you so do. many great toys for men now as well. So. And do you recommend people watching porn to like get a, get a feel for some of the toys? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, you do I'm into research it. research through it. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's really important. Like you can kind of chat about the kind of things you like and then that will naturally maybe steer the types of toys you should go for. But yeah. I just think for people with vulvas, you can't go wrong with anything like, external stimulation especially if you're then partnered with somebody that has a penis because yeah. you know they can take it there and that helps that intimidation thing like you're saying at the start but Look there's loads of great things it's so where's pretty? the one that glows in the dark that one, one that's on your whole day yeah honestly it's hilarious oh one question i do have actually yeah but honestly we're gonna be like trying to close it and back, be back <laughs> You know the ones where you're like supposed to stick them in the shower or stick them in your toilet seat and then they just yeah. never suck they yeah, got the quite, they've they got quite a heavy suction base, but mm-hmm. yeah, you need to be like, so say your shower was tiled. If you hit like one of the ridges, it wouldn't stick. It needs to be like quite a solid surface. Like this table is perfect. Like, <laughs> literally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a good place to go. <laughs> oh God, so so I'm so excited. I'm so sorry. But yeah, see, I'll lift the, the table and it goes ask so strong. If any are going to be left. Oh my so God. So there we go. There we go. Place. I'm so sorry. Right. No, don't worry. That literally lifted the table. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they are so it's strong. Like if you think if you've got it on the oh right Oh my God, surface, legit. I love it. <laughs> Michaela, thank we you so much. Oh, I loved much. it. Thank you for having That's me. That's incredible, guys. Um, thank you. And guys, obviously it goes without saying, click the link in the description and then there will be a link to the website, Michaela's Instagram. 
And also, I know there's lots of sex toy businesses, but she is a new sex toy business. So support small businesses. Absolutely. Thank and you. just, you're so, even your Instagram, I love that you educate as well yeah, on everything. Thank you. So, I love it too. Thanks, girls. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Coming you will be spread the love as well. Yeah. Like, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Over and out. out.